everyone, this is Kushmoose with a review of the puzzle platformer game Fogs for the Achievement Hunting 101 podcast. Fogs was developed by Bitloom Games and published by publisher Coatsync. The game released on December 3rd, 2020 with a price of $25, and we received a code for the purpose of this review. In Fogs, you play as a two-headed stretchy dog whose heads are called red and blue. If you play in single player, you control both red and blue with one controller, or you can play with a friend where you each control one end of the fog. Red and blue can grab items or latch points, they can bark and they can stretch. And you'll be completing levels across three main worlds, collecting bones and little hidden characters called boingles as you go. The bones you collect can be used in shops to buy cosmetic hats, which have no added gameplay value, but if you choose wisely, they'll help you to easily see which fog is which. The levels in each world are unlocked in order, and each world ends with a type of a boss fight. I first played this game during the ID Demo Fest and was immediately hooked by the bright art style, the fun puzzles, and the charming gameplay. Some of the bones you collect are just hidden around corners and levels, but others require you to solve puzzles or complete tasks for characters in the levels. My daughter loved the demo and ended up playing it 10 or 15 times, so I was really looking forward to getting to play this game with her when it released. Unfortunately, the full game wasn't as balanced in terms of difficulty or as polished as the demo. She got very frustrated when the fogs got stuck in the level geometry, I went flying off in weird reaction uh, to the gameplay physics. While the difficulty wasn't bad for a lifelong gamer, the coordination required for some of the puzzles and the odd bugs were just too frustrating for her to handle. When it comes to achievements, Fogs has 30 of them, and they're spaced out to last your entire playthrough, earning progression-based achievements as you go. There are collectible achievements for finding the boingles, the bones, the hats, and scenic spots spread throughout the three main worlds. None of the achievements are missable, and you can replay the levels as you go and after you've beaten the game. On top of the typical collection and progression achievements, the developers have gone the extra mile. And they've added achievements that can be earned by just having fun exploring and interacting with the worlds that they've created. I played Fogs over many sittings as I preferred to explore the levels once or twice by myself, and I'd replay levels using guides and videos online to help clean up any collectibles or achievements I missed naturally. I really recommend taking your time with Fogs and only play one or two levels at a time so you can really explore them fully. Fogs takes a fun idea and manages to stretch it out over three themed worlds pretty well. The game does feel like it's chugging from time to time and there are times when the physics in the worlds lead you to getting stuck in the geometry or go flying off unpredictably. But if that happens, you can reset from a recent checkpoint and try again. However, Overall, I really enjoyed my time with the game, and it's a unique and enjoyable twist on the puzzle platformer genre. I'd rate Fogs three dog bones out of five for fans of platforming games.